It's only safe to remember certain things at the sea, where they can wash away again. The Pacific was a rough mother, grabbed and released me, held me to knock me down, slap on the neck, wall of water, clapped sting into my back. She was the only one there for me at night when I needed her, healing me with moonlight and phosphorescence. What I want her to know now is that I need to come home. The world on land has held more horror than she could ever have imagined. The poems that I'm reading today are from a project that I've been working on for the last two years called Removal Line. Um, and it tells the story of my family's exile from the totalitarian state of the Soviet Union during World War II um, and the diasporic experience that followed. Uh, current research suggests that following genocide, families can experience higher rates of mental and physical illness for up to nine generations. Um, when I was young, I didn't understand why my family was so strange. Um, and now I do. Uh, we are not bad people. We are recovering from things. Bar smells like puke near the sea of my heart. Drive hours to recover from day to day. Travel centuries to recover from memory of an envelope in the drawer of my small wooden childhood desk. A letter filled with words suffered by my little brother, crafted in a prison full of children, cast a spell on me, missile into the future, hit its mark. I hope you die early of cancer. I was a kid too when I read them, and the self that I was then did not survive all the words that ended that family. Uh, I was diagnosed uh, with breast cancer at age 36, and after my family's um, exile from Lithuania, every single woman in my family has gotten breast cancer at a young age. Nine, uh, sorry, uh, 2019, year 2019. We wanted it to be fine, but the cancer was worse than any of us imagined. Without hormones, my ankles swelled to jiggly. I no longer crossed rooms unless absolutely necessary. Doctors wanted treatment to go on extendedly. I cut it off for quality of life, fought my way back to myself, but there was little to return to. No world was left as I knew it. Plague folded it in on itself. I am a woman smoking alone at night in her backyard an insect riding on a small leaf down an unknown river. 2001, after my brother tried to murder my parents, I came home to blood on the carpet. My mother waited for me there, alive, to tell me while we scrubbed together so I would not have to see it alone. 2002, I wish things we could have mended somehow straighter than the days I spent fugitive from my own soul. That happened forever. Young woman crying in parking lots, outside serving jobs. 2002, mothers acquired, made me food, didn't free, didn't fire me, but were afraid to take me in. The wild animal shrieking in their backyard. 1944, then 1961, then 1948. No one wanted to think the occupation would disrupt as much as it did. Cousins on trains to work camps in exotic snowing places they returned from Siberia decades later to live, but not say. 
and Grandpa Vladis escaped with a bullet in his side crossing the lake to Illinois, where he hid his daughter Ruta's dancing shoes to protect her from dangers of the night. In a country unknown, she fled barefoot, and we dance in forever, ways they could not know, seaweed wide, adrift on the tides, to distant shores. Don't you know me, Ruta, everywhere on the breeze? After the women of our family all become diseased in the same way. The sickness tethers our bodies. After our great escape, the stories we tell are of surgical drain bags swinging while dancing in living rooms, while around backyard fires, going to work with a head full of chemo and dreaming of new lovers. The story cannot end here. Auntie Ruta gets on a cruise ship. Nanny buys an antique house. Cousin Coletti retires on an island. My dyslexic child learns to write her R's. I am still dreaming in the fog of my November backyard by an old pink playhouse Thaddeus brought in on his back. She called him Thaddy because he loved us. And then he left, but fills up my imagination like helium into what's soft without. I loved him, I loved him. Crazy overlooked, taken into account. After he passes, I visit his mother on Nursery Street, who made my mohawk blonde because he requested it years ago on a day when we were all very happy. This is the body my life made. This is the life my body made. A woman's journey is spent trying to only be a mind, to then be foiled by something as romantic as a tumor, followed by the sexlessness of its treatment. My body is a tragic sight. I aim to crawl away from, but what knees will take me away from these? So it turns out my body and I are married. And when our union ends, so will I. So, I now live my life like my pubic hair is on fire. I gyrate in unforeseen directions. To connect to my image, I allow it to proliferate. I sit in a room naked, surrounded by artists. My gaze flying away somewhere amid the fury, the fury of pencil scritches. My images go places I don't even know. The internet, the frame shop. Barnaby buys one of me and hangs me in his bathroom. The only way this unruly body is tolerable is if I am on many mysterious journeys at any given time. I might run into myself in Africa on the Senegalese River where Anderson knelt to put my hair in the water in a land outside of mirrors, he sent me this image in a digital video. <coughs> 2022, I tell him I am fat and old. He tells me to step onto his tricycle chariot, invisible parade I am queen of now, witnessed by St. Claude car traffic whizzing past our bicycle lane and the moon that rises, big as a ripe orange, hanging from a branch in an estranged field near where I was born. What can I tell a new friend when years of my life have been a cemetery? I tell him I haven't driven a tricycle since I was three. He hands it to me, watches as I figure eight in the empty midnight alley, and crash into a telephone pole, soft and wooden, fall laughing on the sidewalk in the illumination of a streetlight. I ask him in silent language not to be alone. He fills the bath hot, and we slowly kneel in, waterline coming up to the lip of the rounded tub rim. The wisdom I carry now is getting 
all the good where there is good to get. Enjoy.